Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about the Eugene project Introduction to HTML and CSS. So basically in this video we're going to talk about everything we need to know about HTML, okay? At least the basic things so far and in the end of this video we're going to build a project, okay? We're going to see a little bit about CSS but it, this is not the main object of this block of exercises, okay? We're going to see in the next video. So now it's time to put everything we saw in a project, okay? So now we're gonna do our first project, recipes. Basically in this project, we're gonna build one recipe page, website, okay? Where we're gonna contain all the recipes, uh, for example, four recipes in one page. And once we click in this page, we're going to see the, all the details about a specific recipe, okay? But before we start, we need to set uh, our GitHub repository to make it work, okay? So first, we're gonna create a repository here in github that we're gonna call uh, odin-recipes so here we're gonna do odin-recipes then you can make it public or not and you can do a readme file okay and this readme file we're gonna set a brief description of our project but we're gonna do this later okay so here i'm gonna click create repository now we need to clone this repository in our uh, VS Code like we saw previously, okay, in previous videos. So here we're going to use our terminal. So now we're going to clone our uh, GitHub repository, putting this in here, okay? So what we have to do, we have to say git clone and we have to pass the link that we put in here. So here it's cloning and like we can see in here in repos, we can see the OD recipes. Okay, here I'm gonna say yes and that's it. So basically here we have the Odin recipes in here, okay? And the readme file. All right, now let's see the next part. Then we're gonna do CD Odin recipes and we're going to set up our readme file. So here I'm gonna do clear CD Odin-recipes. And now in the readme.md file, we're gonna add things later, okay? So I want first us to do the project and then we work with the readme file, okay? So now let's take a look at everything we need to do. So basically what I want you to do is the following. We're going to first do the assignment uh, only using the things that we saw so far in this course, okay? And once we finish this, I want you to focus a little bit on styling uh, the project in a nice way. So like uh, starting to use some CSS and other things we're gonna see in the future of the course, okay? So the beginning of this video, until some point, you're gonna, I'm gonna tell you that it's everything you need to know because we're just reviewing what we saw so far. And later on, I will explain how can you improve the styling with things that we're gonna learn in the future. Okay, that's it. So let's start. So basically this part of the GitHub we already saw in the previous video, right? I highly recommend you watching it, but now we can work on what we have to do. So the first, the initial structure, we're gonna have an index.html file. And in this index.html file, we're going to have the heading holding recipes to the body, okay? So before we start, let's review you one thing about HTML. So to start seeing some things uh, when we are creating an HTML file, let's take a look at W3Schools. That is a really good resource. When we have any question about the, the elements or components we need to use in HTML, CSS, or functions in JavaScript and other languages, okay? So basically in here, Every time we're working with an HTML file, we need this doc type HTML, we need to open up the HTML tag, the head part, the title, the body, okay? So I open up here the try it editor, and like we can see in here, we need this structure, okay? The title will be the title of the tab, and this heading is here, the H1 is this heading, and this P is the paragraph, okay? So we're gonna kind of copy and paste and use in our code. So here we're gonna create a file called index.html, okay? Like we can see here, now we have this file, and we're gonna paste what we just copied from W3Schools, okay? So like we can see in here, we have the H, the doc type HTML, HTML, we have the body, the head in here, okay? and we have the body in here as well. All right, so 
If you don't remember, the big difference between body and head is because the head will be everything we're going to use. For example, things that are not visual, the links that we're going to use, the title of the tab, okay? And the body is everything that is visual. So in this case, the head in the paragraph, all right? So what they're asking us to do here in owning project, they are telling us to create the HTML file and add a H1 heading saying owning recipes. So this is exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to remove this paragraph and I'm gonna put in here the message holding recipes and now you do Control S or Command S, okay? And let's see the file, how it is so far in our website. So like we can see in here, this is exactly how our page look like so far. We have here the H1 holding recipes and we have here the title of the tab saying page title. So we can change this page title and we can put something else like holding recipes as well. Okay, and if we save and go back here and we refresh, now here we have the Odin recipes. I think I put one extra S in here. Okay, so this is it. We can work with this right now. Later on, we're gonna manipulate better the, the styling, all right? But so far, let's pay attention in here what we have to do. The next part, we have to create a recipe page. So we're gonna create a new directory within the Odin recipes directory and name it recipes. So let's do this using every time we're gonna use a terminal okay so here we're gonna do make dear recipes and when we do make dear now we have here a file recipes okay then what we have to do create a new html file inside this recipes directory and name it after the recipe it will contain so in my case we can do this lasagna.html first, okay? And we can use this inspiration. So basically in here, we're gonna enter in the directory cd, let me expand here, cd recipes. And I'm gonna create a, f a file called lasagna.html, okay? And when I click enter, inside the recipes, we have now lasagna.html, okay? And I'm gonna copy what we have here in our index.html and I'm gonna paste here in lasagna, all right? So far, I want to make this a very basic and then we can start working with the CSS. All right. So, so far we have this part, lasagna. Then for now, just include a heading with the recipe's name and its content. So far, we're just going to have the recipe name. Okay. And then we can work with the next part. So now that we added the H1 here, like we can see, okay, we have here recipes, holding recipes, and we actually we added here the H1 for the lasagna. We're going to go back to the index.html file and add a link to the recipe page we just created. We're going to add here something that will link our index to our lasagna.html. And what should be the tag? If we take a look in here in W3Schools, there is this A tag okay and the a tag basically defines a hyperlink so we're going to click we can put a message and once we click in this message we're going to be redirected for a page okay that we're gonna put in our tag so basically here for example this is the structure we're gonna say a href the href we're gonna say what is the link we're gonna go to when we click and here we have this message visit w3schools.com and this is the message that's being displayed so once we click in this button we're being redirected to this w3 three schools okay this is exactly what we're gonna do so here we're gonna use the a tag a href is the attribute we need to set where we want to go and where we want to go we want to go to lasagna.html but lasagna.html is inside of the our file recipes so we have to do dot forward slash recipe like it vs code kind of give us this suggestion and then it suggests us to go to lasagna.html so this is how we can go okay the ahref in the Odin project they're telling us to say the name of the the recipe so here i'm gonna put lasagna okay if you do Control s or command s and we refresh here our page now it will appear lasagna and once i click i'm being redirected to the lasagna page okay so this part we're done so far let's see the third part the recipe page content so now we're gonna work with the third part okay basically we're gonna add after our under our h1 lasagna we're gonna add an image of the dish okay so i just search here on google on image of lasagna okay and i'm gonna use this okay so i'm gonna click here copy image address and how can we put images in our code so basically here in w3 schools if you search for the image tag we can see in here how to insert an image and basically we need two attributes the source so this will tell us where the image is okay 
and this out message this is kind of the description of what this image is we can also have the width and the height okay so if we want to select a specific uh, size for our image but i want you to see the big difference between the out and the image so for example in here we have this uh, image of a girl okay in a jacket but what if we cannot load the source of our image for example i change here the source of our image this out attribute will tell us a description of what this image is so for example here it appears this message of an image crash and this message here girl in a jacket so this is one way where we can uh, make our code more accessible okay so now let's create this image text I'm gonna say IMG I'm gonna use the alt message here to say like uh, lasagna for example and I'm gonna say SRC to say the source and the source you're gonna grab here from Google and I'm gonna copy the image address and I'm gonna paste in here it will be a giant okay so remember to close the tag once you copy so let's see how it looks like so far if I refresh in here and I click in lasagna now we can see here the image okay we can change the width and the size if we want for example if I put here width equals to 500 for example and let's see what happens if I put this in here width equals to 500 and I increase it will change the width to 500 okay so we can kind of work and we can play around with whatever we want all right then under the image it should have an appropriately sized description heading followed by a paragraph or two describing the recipe so after the image we're going to create here I'm gonna split into spaces so after the image we need a description okay so it will be a heading now remember heading we start from one up to six and this is about the importance of the title that we want to put in the message h1 will be the 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 biggest heading that we have so here i'm gonna put h3 for example okay so h3 and i'm gonna put a description followed by a paragraph or two describing the recipe so if we scroll up here we can get a description for example this an easy lasagna blah 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 so I'm gonna copy this description and I'm gonna put in here okay ctrl v an easy lasagna blah 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 and the other one I'm gonna put I'm gonna put in paragraph okay so then I'm gonna create here a paragraph so the p tag and I'm gonna paste here this other message okay so this way we can see everything we have all right so now if i refresh our page here we're gonna have this an easy lasagna recipe that saves me lots of time and a paragraph in here okay this is it now let's go for the next part under the description add an ingredients heading followed by an ordered list of the ingredients needed for the recipe so here we're gonna do something similar to what we're seeing right now these ingredients we're gonna have this ingredients heading and we're gonna put this in an unordered list all the ingredients we need okay so here I'm gonna give an H4 for example for ingredients okay and now we're gonna work with an ordered list so let's see how an ordered list works so basically seeing here again in the w3 schools an ordered list it's a regular list okay and if we want to create this uh we need to use the ul tag like we can see in here ul and for every item we have in a list inside the ul we need the li items so list item li for a list item ul for an ordered list so basically in here we have a ul all right an ordered list and all the items are the li so the unordered list basically here they are bullet points like we we can see okay so right now we're gonna do something similar we're gonna have an unordered list here okay and inside the unordered list see that we already have the indentation here we're gonna have the list items okay so let's start adding here the list items of the ingredients so we can copy for example all we have in here and we can paste in here so right now our editor will speed up so you can see everything I did
So right now, after I put here all the list items, okay, all the ingredients we need, if I refresh, now we can see here ingredients and we have all the ingredients in an unordered list. And how do we know it's an unordered list? Because we have here the bullet points, okay? Now let's do the last part here. So finally, under the ingredients list, add a steps heading followed by an unordered list. So now we're gonna have uh, steps heading, steps heading, Okay, and we're not gonna have an unordered list anymore. We're gonna have an ordered list. So basically the unordered list is pretty much the same as an ordered list, but what changes in here is instead of bullet points, we're gonna see numbers. Okay, so let me fix in here. So for example, the tag for our ordered list is OL of ordered list, and we need list items the same way as we need in an ordered list. So for example here, now that it's an ordered list, we have numbers one, two, three. Okay, so step by step. So it will be pretty much the the same as we did for the unordered list. Here we're gonna have OL for ordered list and for every item we want to add in the ordered list we're gonna use LI. Okay so let's go to the step by step in here and we're gonna put for example here the step one is the preheat the oven okay and we're gonna do this for all of them. So now I'm gonna put everything here in our page. And now, like we can see in here, if we refresh, now we have all the steps in a ordered list. So one, two, three, four, and five, okay? So basically this is it we have to do for this third part. So now iteration four, add more recipes. Add two or more recipes within that eco page structures to the recipe page you already created. Don't forget to link the new recipes in the index. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna create new uh, recipes under our, uh, under our recipes recipes directory so for example here we're gonna say touch and I want to create for carbonara carbonara.html for example and here now we have a carbonara.html and I'm gonna do touch pomodoro.html so for our pasta I'm gonna have two sauces here okay so we have lasagna and carbonara sorry lasagna carbonara and pomodoro so for them we're gonna use the same structure okay so we're gonna have here the same structure for the the image the h1 the an ordered list okay we're gonna use the same things but we're gonna change for whatever we're working with so you can copy everything we got everything we did for lasagna and we're gonna paste for carbonara okay but we're gonna remove the things we have for example here in source this is huge i'm gonna remove here okay and you're gonna we're going to change everything all right so you're gonna use the same structure as we did for lasagna but now changing for the things we want for carbonara or pomodoro like i did so right now i'm just gonna do but i'm not gonna say much okay so let's see in here actually before i start changing these files remember to create a link in the index okay so here we're gonna do exactly the same we're gonna create three links for each recipe we have so one for lasagna and here i'm gonna change for carbonara okay and here i'm gonna change the message for carbonara and here i'm gonna change for pomodoro okay and here we change as well pomodoro okay so if we take a look in here if we go back to index now we have these three links okay so now we need to work with once we click it's gonna display something right now it's displaying lasagna but i want to display the correct things and so far our pomodoro it's empty so right now i'm gonna do the changes okay finished putting everything in here we have the pomodoro and the carbonara okay if i refresh in here and if i click in carbonara now we have the fettuccine carbonara okay he's this fettuccine is delectable blah 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 we have the heading the paragraph to the description the ingredients and the steps if we go back and go to pomodoro it's the same thing salmon pasta pomodoro we have here the description the ingredients and the steps okay so one thing that we can change is in the index we can put the correct name for this for example fettuccine carbonara we can change here fettuccine carbonara 
And for the Pomodoro, we can change to Salmon Pasta Pomodoro, okay? And if I go back in here, it's everything here right now, all right? So this is basically what we need for the project. But now I want to work a little bit with you, styling some things, okay, to make this look a little bit better. And then once I do this, we can submit our project, okay? So now let's start styling. This, like I said, this is not required, okay? But we can start working. So we're gonna get out of the recipes uh, directory. So we're gonna do cd dot dot. And we're gonna create a file called styles.css, okay? And we're gonna open up this styles.css. Since we wanna use this styles.css in our index, for example, here we have to make a link, okay? The relationship will be style sheet is style sheet, and the href will be this styles.css. Okay, so now we're making the relationship between our index and our styles.css and I want to start manipulating in here, okay, because I think this can look a little bit better. For example, if we put all of this inside of a div here, Ctrl X, and if I change in here and then I close the div in this part, and we can give a class here for like class equals to container, for example okay and if i change in here nothing will change okay but we can work in here with this class container okay and I, we can do some things so we can say like here display flex so display flex will allow us to start manipulating this div okay where it contains the, all of these three uh eight tags and we can use justify content to make everything in the center okay and one thing that is good as well is to set the flex direction. So I want to put everything in a column. I'm going to remove the justify contour so far, but I want to show you the, the flex direction. So the flex direction, we're going to put everything in a column, okay? And we can give up, let me see. Here, this is looking nice, okay? The text in here, the text of the Odin recipes, we can add a property. So for example, if I put in here H1, we can add the text center, text align equals to center. So in here, if we refresh, now Odin is in the middle, okay? And this won't change because we need to change in the future. So, so far we have here recipes, blah, blah, blah. Here we can put justify content in the center and we're gonna put all the h ref in the center actually align items center okay if we refresh now it's everything in the center okay we can work with the a tags so here if we want to do for example margin we can set a margin of 10 pixels and we're gonna have a space in between them in here okay and we can change the color for example color uh black i don't know and now it's in black in here okay we can work we can work whatever we want font size 20 pixels for example and we change in here it will be a little bit larger bigger the text the h1 we can make bigger as well like font size equals to 24 pixels and if we refresh actually it can be bigger 40 pixels for example okay I just want to show that we can play around. In the future, we're gonna learn more how can we do this, but we can play a little bit with what we wanna work in here, okay? So now we can style as well the lasagna, all right? We can put everything in the center. So we can copy this link in here that we just uh, made for the CSS, and we can put in lasagna in the top. So in the head here, we're gonna paste, okay? So once we refresh here lasagna, Okay, nothing changed, but we can play around. Lasagna should be in the center, but it didn't. Ctrl S. Okay, we have to do dot dot towards slash here to go back to this CSS. And now if we refresh, lasagna is in the middle. Okay, and we can play around in here. We can put the image in the middle if we want. So we can put this in a div. Okay, and I'm gonna put here class container to put this in the middle. Okay, this is all the link for the image address. And I'm gonna close here the div. All right, let me go back to the top and we can put this everything inside. Okay, so let's see if now we have the container, it stays in the middle, so the image now is in the middle, okay? Now we can work with the paragraphs. For example, we can change some colors in here. If I change in here, for example, the H3, we can put all of this in the center as well. So we can work in here. Instead of closing in here, let me do Ctrl X and we close this div in the end.
command control V command V and I'm gonna change your identification for everything okay in here control s and if I refresh now everything is in the center like we can see in here all right so we kind of play around with everything we have in our hands we can change the paragraph so for example the h3 we can give a different color I don't know h3 here I want this the color color to be brown you can play around in here so it's brown okay the paragraph here we can remove for example if I put here paragraph we can put color and I'm gonna put gray I don't know and we can play around here it's great but I don't like this okay all right uh, let's see then the ingredients we can make this with a font family that is a little bit bigger so the, if we take a look at lasagna the ingredient is h4 and the steps as well so here we can say h4 font size I don't know 30 pixels and if we refresh it will appear here 30 pixels but I think it's too much right so I'm gonna change here to 25 you can kind of play around in here okay it doesn't look that pretty and we're gonna learn in the future how we can make this look better okay and we can work here as well this this tabs so if I remove here the margin for example margin zero left seats this is something shade now we remove the the space we had in between them right here i'm gonna put margin zero as well okay and it will remove the margin between the paragraph i believe not in the h1 i change here the h1 not the h1 i want to change the h3 so if i refresh now we don't have this space anymore okay and that's it we can kind of play around you can put this link in our carbonara as well because if we go back to carbonara here we didn't change anything but if we add this link in carbonara it will change okay for example here it changed a little bit here we need to put everything inside the container so div class equals to container okay and in the bottom we need to close this div so everything will change so everything will be in the middle once we close in here okay for example in here now everything is in the middle like we saw before okay and we can do the same for the salmon pasta pomodoro so if we add the link and we change the div as well so pomodoro here if we add the link and we add the div class container here and we put in the bottom oh my god it's huge the hyperlink and if we save in here and refresh now we change things okay this is not the most pretty website we saw before okay this is just a regular one but i wanted to practice i just want to show you that we can do many things in our project all right right now it's simple and this is the main goal it, the, the main goal is to be simple the first project but in the future you're gonna do more complex project and you're gonna like enjoy more okay so now one another thing that i wanted to show is the classes the things that we did in css they are responsive so even if we increase the the size of the screen it continues looking the same okay so here the same for pasta pomodoro we can see here all right so this is really good about css we can work with multiple things and it will contain the same in different size of screen all right so now let's see how can we submit the project so basically like we saw we finished the project okay and one thing that is really important to notice here they are telling us that we don't need to worry about how it looks uh, our HTML file okay so our project here doesn't look the best project but in the future we're gonna revisit this project and we're going to style again with the CSS okay so this will be the next step in the future of the project of the course so don't worry about it right now now let's uh, put all of this in our github so so far we just have this okay now let's work with the VS code so remember to put everything here first I added this message in my readme.md so I put the website consists of main index page which uh, have links to a few recipes and I here only 
HTML and a few of CSS. But the CSS we're gonna learn better in the future, okay? Then how can we add things? We can do git status here and we're gonna see that we have a change not stage for commit. So we have this change and we have this untracked uh, files, okay? So how can we, we do? We're gonna do git add and we're gonna add all. So we're gonna do dot. And if we go git, if we do git status again, now all of these changes are ready to be committed, okay? What we're gonna do? Now we're gonna do git commit dash m and we're gonna say a message. So uploading all files, for example and I'm gonna click enter. Once I run this, it will say uploading all files, this is the message I sent, uh, create mode, blah, blah, blah. So here, if I do git status, it's gonna say that your branch is ahead of the GitHub, so this is good. And now we just need to push to our GitHub. So git push, and if we run this, now let's take a look and if we go to our repository here and we refresh now we have everything we've done okay so we uploaded our code in here now we need to make this available for everyone so if we go to the bottom here it's saying viewing your project on web so we're going to be able to open up our project using this link your github username.github.io slash your github repo name but in order to do this we make to, we need to do some things the first one is putting our project the main file index.html this is something that we have then we need to do some setup so we're going to our github repo here we're going to click on settings and and we're going to click on pages to allow us to see the website on the web we need to click in here and we have to select main instead none okay and then we're gonna click save this might take a while okay like it's saying here it may take a few minutes or an hour but once uh, it's done we're going to be able to access our project in here so let's try it out if I do in here this github this giovanna pro blah 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 okay so like they said we need here the name my username on github dot github dot io slash your github repo, repo name so here it will be giovanna dot io slash what is the name of my repo the name of my repo is odin dash recipes so odin dash recipes and if i click enter so far it's not working okay so we need to wait a little bit and once it's done i will go back and show you so now for example that i refreshed the page here it took some time we can see here the url is my name in github.github.io slash and the name of my repo and now i can see my website working okay so now this is it for our code okay if you enjoyed this content please give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you have any questions send here in the comment or if you want to have full support from programming expert check the description below okay and i hope to see you in the next video bye bye if you would like to have full support from programming expert via telegram group and group coaching check the description below mm -hmm.